De går ner, de går ner, de går ner. Där. How are you doing? It's in the backyard. Yeah. I was killing a scorpion. I have a scorpion in the kitchen. Oh yeah. And my nanny was outside with my daughter and then came across a rattlesnake. So. Oh shoot. Thank How's your morning? You? Good, yeah. I love snakes, so uh, <laughs> it's always exciting to get a call. Yeah, I'm glad. <laughs> so you went out of there? Yeah. Okay. Do you think I can pull it out? I think so. Okay, cool. Let's see here. Let's see what we're doing. Oh my gosh, this is freaking me the hell out. You're a brave woman. Let me know if you see it. <laughs> yeah, no, I won't. <laughs> it's just coming on. I can't out. see anything. <laughs> so last I saw, it snuck its tail back that way. On the side? Yeah. Oh, it's a tongue flicker, I think. You what? I think I saw his tongue. Oh, no way. Oh, yeah, he's right there. You see it? Yeah, he's right there. Hey, bud. <laughs> hey, bud. <laughs> yeah, was my foot right by your face? Yes. Okay, let's see. There's a lip. Like, yeah, it goes down, and there's, down. Um, there's things. Yeah. Lovely. Hey, bud. Okay, let's see here. Maybe if I, because I don't know if I can clear it, you know? Derek is running a call right now. He's covering for me while I'm covering for Dave. Anyway, there's a snake at a hospital right now in a spot that it's gonna be really difficult to find. So I am heading over there right now. This is a two person one, I think. Um, but before we do that, I'm gonna stop and get, get us some cold drinks because it is hot outside and we're gonna be there for a while. So hopefully we get it. Having fun? Yeah. I'm gonna record us failing to catch an Aatrox. Okay. <laughs> oh boy. That's it, huh? It's about two and a half feet tall with uh, vegetation, just the downed leaves. <laughs> check, check, quick checks of the, mot of the surrounding area just to give that area a little deep yeah. pressure. Um, didn't go too hard in the lantana to the right of us. Oh, where did they? Where was it originally in there? This was the, it, was, it was actually eating the head of a dove and then people surrounded it, it bailed. They watched it go into that. Sprinklers kicked on, everyone left. So it could have driven out somewhere else. Yeah, it could have. Um, around that corner, through that door, uh -huh. is a big lantana field, pretty much. Where, where can I help? Give me a heavy check on that, probably. Sure. Just because that's super close. Yeah. How big of a snake? Uh, they said fairly really small. Okay. I see it. You do? Yep. Where? I'm gonna grab it. It's up in the bush. Oh shit. Don't go down. Don't go down. Don't go down. I got it. I can go release it for you if you want so you can get to your estimate. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Okay, let me go grab my bucket real fast. Stupid oleander. <laughs> he, he was up pretty high. All right, man, good to see you. <laughs> so, interestingly, of all of the non residential places that we are called to catch rattlesnakes, any industrial, commercial places, stores, whatever, hospitals are the number one thing, the number one place that. We 
we are called to catch rattlesnakes at those times. Um, I'm not sure why, but it's th I think it's because they all have, all have exactly the same landscaping. And that is oleander and, and lantana heavy all around the side of the building. And no one goes anywhere around the buildings except for the doorways. If you have lantana in your yard and you're near where rattlesnakes can be, you have rattlesnakes too. They love this stuff. Actually, they don't like lantana. They like that they are almost always under maintained. Lots of leaf litter at the bottom and over watered. They don't need as much water as people put in them. Put those things together. You got a nice little place for rodents to nest and a cool spot for rattlesnakes to hide, which they, which they do. Go. How did I get it out? Use the legs to hang <laughs> out. All right, we might have to resort to the hose. You okay if we just water out and just? Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's do that. Like, I mean, you don't have a lot of vegetation, which is good. Yeah. Um, not a lot of places for them to hide. I know, yeah, that is, that is good. So yeah, the big thing is just any shady area they're gonna seek. A lot of your yard is just in the sun too, so that's good. water mount. See you bud. All right so yeah they just noticed that on their back patio. Thankfully their dogs didn't find it or their child didn't find it. They saw it and it went under that fridge so it all worked out. I said that wasn't hard at all. Look at this, there's a nice pack rat nest right here. I know this was not how you were planning for today to go, but here we are. This little guy. Pack rat nests are great. <laughs> I don't think there's many people that say that out loud. If you're somebody that has my job and that involves finding a nice insulated hole somewhere at any hour of the day, this is gonna be everywhere. I love pack rats. They're great. All right, I'm gonna go excavate myself. That sounded terrible, but you know what I mean. I go, I'm gonna go find someplace cool, maybe sit in a pool or something. You can run snake calls from a pool. 